Hello folks, welcome back to Multivendor X. Today's video will be all about how you can customize your vendor registration form. With Multivendor X, you get to create your very own personalized vendor registration form. And do you know what the crowning stroke is? The information added by the vendors while filling the registration form will automatically get updated in the database. So let's stop dealing and start creating our very own vendor registration form. Click on Multivendor X settings and from there go to the registration form. To create a form, we use the titles from the form field mentioned here. As you can already tell, now the Multivendor X form field is easy peasy and much more convenient for you to use. Let's create two form fields to get the hands-on experience of the functionality. For example, contact number and the store name. Before we create any form, you can let your respondent see whenever they take up your registration form. From this title field, Use this form description to give your vendors an introduction or provide them with some specific information. Click on to this rectangular box to expand and fill up the necessary details. In this question title field, you can add any caption of your choice. According to our example, let's enter contact number. The placeholder will reflect the content given in the space until data is provided by the vendor. You can select the required from the drop-down. Let me select the phone option. This field is used as a guide for the respondent. You can either leave this field blank or can enter a demo to address. This field attributes some more specific information about the question title. To make this field mandatory, check the required checkbox. Lastly, to the left corner of the form field, you have three options. First, you can copy the respective form. Second, you can create a new form field in case you want to add more questions for your vendors. Lastly, you can delete the particular form. As you can see, we have created another form field, store name, the same way we did for the contact number. Now let's take another example of how to add check boxes to your field. Here in the question title field, write gender. Beside the placeholder, select the check boxes from the drop down menu. The option field will appear. Below, enter male, female, and others respectively. To make this field mandatory, check the required check box. For checkboxes, I would suggest to leave this field as it is as the vendor will have to choose any one option. Before we conclude, Multivendor X has come up with auto save settings. Any changes you have made will get reflected to the site automatically. Now that the form is ready, let us view the site from the vendor's perspective. You can see that the registration form is customized accordingly. Now let's register a new vendor the same way we did while creating the vendor John just with some more added fields. Let's enter the details to complete the vendor login process. Once done, click on to the login option. Now let's view from the dashboard to check whether the extra fields were updated or not after the registration process. Now from the admin dashboard, click on Multivendor X Vendor. As soon as the page loads, move your cursor to the Pending Vendor tab. You can clearly spot the vendor who is awaiting for the admin's approval. Click on the Register Vendor, you can view the customized form, where with the default requirement, the phone number and the store name with the gender is also visible. With this, we have come to the end of our video. In the next part of the video, we will discuss how the vendors are manually added with the vendor management system. If you like the tutorial, then do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Click on to the small red bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thank you for watching.